Hello everyone, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I am going to talk about Python read line for file operations in Python. So let us take a look at the agenda for this session. First, I will discuss what is Python read line and read lines method and how it works and then I will explain it with an example. I hope you are clear with the agenda. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. And do check out Edureka's Python programming certification program. The link is given in the description box below. Now, without any further ado, let us understand Python read line. So, what exactly is read line? Python file method read line reads an entire line from the file. Trailing new line character is kept in the string. And if the size argument is present and non negative, it is a maximum byte count, including the trailing new line and an incomplete line may be returned. In simple words, the Python read line method will return a single line from the file when called. Now, let us take a look at what is read lines method. So, Python file method read lines reads until the end of file using read line and returns a list containing the lines. If the optional size hint argument is present, instead of reading up to end of the file, the whole lines totaling approximately size in bytes, possibly after rounding up to an internal buffer size, are read. In other words, you can use Python read lines method to get all the lines in the file in a list where each line is an element in the list. So let us go ahead and take a look at how we can use them or how we can use these methods inside a program. The Python read line method has a parameter size, which is basically used to specify the number of bytes from a line to return. It is an optional parameter, and the default value for the size parameter is minus one, which means that it will return the whole line by default. And when it comes to read lines, it has a hint parameter, which is optional as well. And the default value is minus one, that returns all the lines. Hint parameter takes a hint number. And if the number of bytes exceeds the hint number, no more lines will be returned. Now that we know how it works, let us go ahead and take a look at an example. So before moving on to the example, let me just make a quick file in the desktop. So over here in the desktop, this is my file that I'm going to open in my program using read line and read lines method for file operations. So these are the lines that are there inside this file. So I'll just save it. Close it now. Open the PyCharm. For this, you don't have to install any dependencies. You can just simply go on and write the code. So I'll just make one file and open. Here I'm going to specify the file name, which is going to be the location of the file. So I'll just copy the location of the file from over here in properties. And this is the file. example.txt and over here I'll just write r because we're gonna read from the file. It is very simple guys. I'll just write file dot read line. Let's say first line. And after this I'll just print this first line. Now when I run this I'll get the first line from my file that is Edureka is the biggest e-learning platform. So there is one parameter we can use. So just leaving it blank for the default value to be minus one. We can just specify some numbers or some bytes. So I'll just write 50 over here. Let's see what the output is. We're getting the full line again. So instead of 50, let's just say I write 20. So it's going to return me the line where the number of bytes is equal to 20. So that's why I'm not getting the full line over here. So let's just say if I write 30 over here. So this is how you can play with this read lines method guys. And if I write 42, let's say I'm getting the whole line again. So this is how read line works guys. I'm just going to show you how read lines method works here. So instead of read line, I just write read lines and instead of first line. I'll say all lines. And now when I execute this program, I'm going to get all the lines from my file inside a list where each line is an element of the list. 
so this is as simple as it looks guys and for this also i can specify number of bytes like let's just say 200 so it's gonna give me all the lines that are there inside the file instead of 200 let's just say i provide 100 bytes so when the hint is 100 i'm getting only the two lines it's not going to give me the next line because it is exceeding the hint the number of bytes are exceeding the hint number that i've provided over there so this is how read line and read lines method in python works for file operations and now that we have come to the end of the session guys I hope you understand how Python read line and read lines works in Python. And if you have any questions, you can mention them in the comment sections below. And subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. Also, do check out Edureka's Python programming certification program. The link is given in the description box below. Thank you and happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!